Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on transaction management in ABT. In this tutorial, we will learn to search transaction, edit transaction, copy transaction and delete transaction. In this tutorial, I am using ABT version 1.0 Android version 4.2 that is Jelly Bean and a rooted tablet. For more information, please visit github.com slash androportal slash abt or else akashlabs.org slash docs slash abt slash index dot html. For this tutorial, you must be familiar with the principles of bookkeeping how to run and start ABT and how to create a new organization. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit spoken-tutorial.org. Select ABT application on Android 4.2. We will see ABT's welcome screen. We will choose Free Accounting Foundation from Select Existing Organization button. Let's log in as admin. We are now on the master menu of ABT. Let us select transaction menu. We have learned how to add vouchers in previous tutorial. Now let's learn how to manage the vouchers. In create voucher tab, let's select journal. Depending on the voucher type selected, we get the list in search voucher tab. We will find the created vouchers in the list. We can see the financial period at the top. Tap on the search icon at the top middle of the screen. We can search vouchers in a number of ways. Say voucher reference number, date, narration, voucher number, account name and voucher type. Let's try to search voucher of some other voucher type, say Contra. As search mode, select voucher type, select Contra, tap on view. Now we will learn how to edit, copy and delete voucher one by one. Long press on row on which you want to perform any of these tasks. Edit Voucher, Copy Voucher and Delete Voucher. Tap on Edit Voucher option to edit the selected voucher. It will take you to Edit Voucher tab. In Edit Voucher, note, except voucher number and voucher type, all other fields are editable. Let's change the amount 200 to 2000. Save the changes. We have successfully edited a voucher. It will automatically take us to search voucher tab. Again, long press the contra row, select copy voucher option to make a copy of the voucher. It is mandatory to change voucher number as this is a unique parameter. Change the check number as check number differs in different transactions. Save the changes. A message appears which says transaction cloned successfully. Cloning the transaction was an interesting part, right? As you can see, we are still on the same tab. That means we can make multiple copies of same voucher. Now tap on search voucher tab. Long press on the contra row. Now, let us try to delete unwanted transaction. For that, tap on delete voucher option. Tap on yes to delete the voucher. We have successfully deleted the voucher. In edit, we replace the original data with new one. In clone, we create a copy of the same record or transaction 
and then we can make required changes to the data. Likewise, we can create other vouchers, edit, clone and delete them. So, in this tutorial we have learned how to search transaction, edit transaction, copy transaction and delete transaction. As an assignment, create a contra transaction of cash withdrawn from bank rupees 2000 on 1st April 2014 from HDFC. Edit, copy and delete the transaction. Watch the video available at the given link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the given link. This is Sriptikini from IIT Bombay. Thank you very much for watching.